Hello, Madeline Brock here. Welcome back to Unplug the Christmas Machine, based on the book by the same name by Joe Robinson and Jean Kabak Staheli. Today we're going to talk about the things that we value during the Christmas holidays. The values exercise is a great place to start. I mentioned it last time and you can find it embedded in the body of this post as well. There are 10 values listed in this exercise. And while everyone's priorities are different, this exercise gives us a chance to compare our values with what we actually do. When we take the time to find out what it is we value, we are better able to align what we're doing with what's important to us. Now I want you to look at your values exercise again and this time rank those 10 values according to how you actually spent your time, your energy, and your financial resources last year. What's the value that's on top now? There are three mistakes that people tend to make at Christmas and I spent years doing all of them. The first one is we don't take time to identify what we value. Second, we don't practice what we believe in. And third, we tend to avoid making choices between competing values. And that last one is a really important point because when we don't make choices between competing values, several things can end up happening. First, we try to include too many activities and then everything gets diminished by the frantic need to try to do it all. Second, we get so overwhelmed by the competing possibilities of Christmas that we end up paralyzed and do very little and then feel guilty because we're not doing enough for Christmas. And third, we make wrong choices and spend our time, money, and energy on activities that just aren't right for us or for our families. Here are some things to think about as you consider your values and your activities during Christmas. First of all, why do you think we try to cram so many activities into one celebration? Ask yourself what values are being reinforced when you look at advertising for Christmas. Has gift giving ever felt like a conflict with your values? And have there ever been times when gift giving felt like an extension of your values? When I first read Unplug the Christmas Machine and did the values exercise, I realized that my values had never been a priority. Frankly, I had never even thought about my values. I had fallen under the spell of the Christmas Machine and believed that if I did the things that I saw advertised in magazines and on the TV that I would have a happy and fulfilling Christmas for my family and for myself. But the reality was that by the time Christmas arrived, I was too drained, sleep deprived, and exhausted to enjoy much of that celebration. When I originally did the values exercise, I was not surprised to learn that my top priority was spending time with my family and friends. But my second priority was a desire to rededicate myself to my spiritual growth. Taking time to pay attention to my spirituality during the holidays has become my great joy. This year, the global pandemic has changed the way we spend all of our holidays, and Christmas is sure to be changed as well. May this be the year that you discover what you value at Christmas time and find ways to put those values into practice. It's the best way to unplug the Christmas machine. <music>